Hi, my name is Julia. Welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a great reading. Today's reading is Whose Life is Forever Changed by You? And we are going to have five piles today, so we're going to get right into it. Pile one is going to be the Blue Aura Titanium Quartz. Blue Aura Titanium Quartz. Very stunning. Okay, pile two, we have the Black Tourmaline. Wonderful stone. Black tourmaline, pile two. Pile three is the selenite tower. Pile three with the selenite tower. Ooh, it's leaning a little bit there, there we go. <laughs> okay, pile four with the citrine. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And pile five, last but definitely not least, with the amethyst. Pile five with the amethyst. Love me some amethyst, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> okay, so those are the pile five piles. I was gonna say the pile fives. <laughs> okay, so those are the five piles. As per usual, timestamps will be in the description and the comments, and I will go ahead and see you guys at your piles. Oh yes, I hope you feel called to like and subscribe. See you guys in the reading. Hi, pile one, if you chose the Blue Aura Titanium Quartz. I was trying to remember the name because I keep forgetting Titanium, which I don't know why, like, I keep, because I always think of that song, Titanium, you know, but I keep wanting to say Terminalated, but anyways, um, that was weird, there was something, okay, yeah, so I'm getting ready to have some paranormal experience. Someone who came to this pile because just a second ago, I got the most crazy, high-pitched, like, um, Frequency, like frequently, sh fre see now I'm stumbling on my words. Yikes. Okay, it's nothing bad though. It, there's a high pitch frequency shift I, I had come through on my right ear and then I looked up and it was like a quick orb, but it was like really fast. It was like, pew. anyways, it's nothing bad, but there's something coming through here. Um, I think I'm getting ready to channel a pretty interesting message. Um, I pulled out way more cards than I had expected to and a lot more jumped out than I expected. So let's get into it. Pile one, if you chose the blue Aura, Titanium Quartz, Pile 1, this is your reading. Whose life is forever changed by you? So we're going to get right into it. Let's start right up here at the top. Okay, Pile 1. This, ooh, hmm. this is somebody who things, this is somebody, um, yes, clearly from your past. This is somebody who you, I feel, have not talked to in a while. Or it's whether it was a family, a friend, um, some other kind of connection, romantic, partner, something of that nature, which from all the cards I'm seeing, I, you know, I'm always going to be just straight up and honest with you guys. I'm not going to lie about what I see in the cards. It's feeling like it, it could be possible counterpart, but not, and you know, I, the reason I, I try to sway away from like the twin flame topic so much is there's a, it's just, it keeps a lot, you don't hear like, Hardly ever. Me and my twin flame are in union and we're living happily ever after. And when you do hear these things, do you often hear it? And it, we are mar been married for 20, 30 years. No, you don't. Because <laughs> there's, a, I, and I know that that's because of the purpose of those connections is, you know, for spiritual evolution and teaching and, you know, reflecting back to us things. And I, I, don't, I don't mean to get off topic, but I just want to explain why I kind of like get all it. Because normally when I touch on these subjects, it's, bringing up a lot of things that cause a lot of pain for many people. You know, so include, I've been there, I've been there, been there, done that. <laughs> and it, it definitely is a learning experience. Anyways, let's get back to your message. But I'm just saying from the cards I've seen here, it feels like this might be um, one of those situations which would definitely explain why this person is forever changed by you. And I mean forever changed by you. Uh, especially the cards I'm seeing. So this is somebody where, you know, this Knight of Pentacles coming out reverse. This is somebody where things didn't work out. Things didn't go as planned, perhaps, or things just slowed down and then eventually stopped. And I'm seeing next with the Sun in reverse and the Devil. Yikes! This is somebody who actually tried hiding um, many things from you and did hide many things from you. And this is part of the reason why they were slow to move towards you. This is somebody who 
didn't exactly see you in the right light at first and they also didn't want you to see everything about them in the right light because they had a lot of toxic things going on. They had a lot of addictions, they had a lot of habits. I'm hearing um, a lot of, um, ooh, conquests. I just heard the word conquest. They had a lot of it, I feel like sexual conquests and other things that they were just tied to and couldn't let go of. And they also had an obsession for you, but you wouldn't know it by the way they were so slow to come towards you is what it's feeling like. And that um, this person was obsessed and this person wasn't willing to let go of specific things, specific habits that they would have to in order to come correctly towards you. This person is somebody who I feel you guys might not have ever came out of the title of friends with. Like, not that you weren't more than friends, because it's feeling like a lot of the cards I'm seeing here, you know, there might have been some kind of counterpart or mirroring going on, especially with this emperor coming out up here in reverse. Now, that doesn't mean that you are a female or you are a male and this is a male or this is a female. These are just energies, like I say in every reading, Place the energy where it fits. Energy is very fluid. You know, roles can be swapped. You know, genders don't have to be specific. It's just certain vibrations we're picking up on here. So, back to what I'm saying. It feels like either at some point you guys used to like to have a good time together, maybe just as friends, maybe as more, or maybe possibly there was some indulging you guys used to do together, but, uh, Either one or if not both of you weren't willing to let go of either certain other friends in your life in order for things to be seen clearly in this connection or this situation and somebody wasn't willing to either stand up and defend you or stand up and fight for this friendship or connection or whatever label you guys made it to. This, now, all labels aside of whatever, whether you guys were actually together, boyfriend, girlfriend, seeing each other, just friends. It, it's a feeling here that you both were really were well aware that there was something more to this that was underneath the surface that really wasn't being seen correctly. Um, that um, both of you might, one, if not both of you were at a place in your life where you really weren't ready to step up to bat for what kind of a connection this was. So it feels to me, if not both of you, at least one of you was at a place where not wanting other people to see certain things you were having a hard time letting go of, certain behaviors, certain connections, certain obsessions. Um, both of you could have had, you know, a lightweight, maybe, well, I feel one of you had a much heavier <laughs> um, infatuation, borderline obsession with the other, but I'm, it's really feeling like it was this person, but they were masking it um, and hiding it and not willing to let go of other things they were doing in order to come correct and step up to that. Okay, so that's who this is. That's a little bit of who this is on who is whose life was forever changed by you. Now we're going to get into it a little bit more. What happened? I'm asking the cards, what happened here that forever changed their life? Like, why was is their life forever changed? And how, when what, what's been going on here, you know? So let's get a little more into it. It appears to me that you spoke a truth and cut this person off. It feels to me you cut this person off and you moved on from this person and are no longer waiting to hear what this person has to say. Uh, you're not waiting for them to fight for this or to defend you or to defend themselves because they took too long. It feels to me like they were juggling, playing games, acting like almost like, you know, like they had tricks up their sleeve for everyone else, entertaining everyone else, and they um, weren't doing anything to help you. Like, it feels almost like it stuck out of your head. They, it feels to me like they knew that the nature of this connection was keeping you stuck and that um, they weren't doing anything about it. They were just kind of busy entertaining a lot of other people. And you stepped up to bat and cut this person off and stood in your truth. And it feels to me before you moved on from this person, and I'm seeing that here with the Queen of Swords, like I said, this isn't gender specific, with this Queen of Swords and this Six of Swords, you said something to this person. Or you let, if it wasn't directly to this person, you made sure you let it be known in one way or another to this person. A cold hard truth that they needed to hear. And I'm hearing your words were sharp, your truth was undeniable, and you let something be known. A, something that needed to be known. 
whether it was about this person, about a situation, but you stepped up to bat and spoke something or at least let something be known. You let a truth be, I heard the truth prevailed, something about a truth come to light. And then you moved on and didn't wait to hear what anybody else had to say about it. It's like, you're just like, yeah, this is what's up and I'm out. Oh my God, I'm just seeing a scene from that movie. Oh my God, this is so weird. You guys know the movie Half-Baked? <laughs> this is so weird. I don't know why they're showing me this in my head right now, but this is so funny. Okay, if you've ever seen the movie Half-Baked, there's that, and this is an older movie, right? I used to love watching those old stoner movies. Oh my God, okay. Anyways, um, it's the scene where he goes, and I'm gonna try not to cuss. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're cool, fuck you, I'm out. <laughs> They're showing me that scene. So I feel like there was like something that happened where you're like, you called everyone out. And whether this was like you were all in the same place, this could have been something that happened, say online or at someone's house or, you know, on a, some kind of social media platform. But it's like something where you let a truth come out where you're like, F that, F that, F that. This is what's up. F that and I'm out and you were like up out of there and everything you said was the truth a cold hard truth it's like everybody knew it but nobody was saying it or everybody knew certain things but nobody knew the whole truth and there's something that you let be known and I think it I'm hearing shock value it had shock value like people were like nobody either thought you knew or nobody either expected somebody to come out to say that like, and it's kind of like every, I'm hearing people were like, like shock and all like, <gasps> like, I can't believe they came out and said it. Maybe it was something that was keep, yeah. Cause, okay, so let me keep reading the cards. I'm also seeing here about, um, you know, what it, what it was that, that you changed and, and I'm seeing here, okay, we have the emperor and now he's um, upright, but you know, like I said, not gender specific, but along with this two of swords reverse, seven of cups reverse, star upright. And in this emperor, he's now much more wise and he's holding a clock in his hand. And in this two of swords, I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of explaining some of the imagery I'm seeing here. In this two of swords, which is in reverse, you see this alliance, there's an alliance here. You see these hands, like it's in some kind of alliance or there was some kind of fight. There was some kind of opposition reminding me of arm wrestling or two people going at it because they're not shaking hands so there was some kind of issue here from two separate sides which was causing somebody to be stuck from moving forward so he, what you did is you whatever truth you spoke or whatever truth you let become known made this person wise and understanding to some kind of situation that was going on about some kind of opposition that was happening behind his back or your back which caused some kind of illusion to be dropped and you to be seen in the right light. It feels to me like there was some kind of allegiance, alliance, opposition going on either behind your back, behind this connection, behind you, behind this person that they became very wise and aware of where all the illusions were dropped and you became seen in the light, in the right light for who and what you are and what your place and title should have been. And all the potential you have in, in this healing journey for you and this person. Wow. Wow. So you must let something be known or it's whatever you said, perhaps they didn't believe it at first and then later on this person became aware of alliances and allegiances and things that were being a lot of opposition going on behind your back and their back. And that's when the illusions became dropped and they became aware of who you were really were to them and watched you have to and they had to watch you go away from them on their healing journey and not give them a chance really. It's not that you don't wouldn't give them a chance. I think you gave them too long of a chance with this Knight of Pentacles coming out in reverse where you already done did that, waited. And it's like nothing was being you know, this person refused to show themselves in the right light. They weren't seeing you in the right light. They weren't showing themselves in the right light. They were hiding a lot about the, what they were all involved with and what they were doing and who they were doing it with. And they weren't willing to let go of that lifestyle. They were too busy partying, not sticking up for you, not sticking up for this connection, 
not giving any, and if they were believing things from other, you know, friends and alliances, they weren't giving you, a, they, it's like they never gave you a chance to defend yourself. So in that, they never stood, they never stepped up to the bat. Like they never, it's like it never happened, you know? This person's now very well aware of the truth of these situations. This person's life is forever, forever changed by you. This person, ooh, that's interesting. We have trapped in fear in reverse and imprisonment in, in reverse. In both of these, there's um, jail bars. So at some point in the, you know, recent past or even currently, you or this person could have been incarcerated. This person could be incarcerated and get ready to come out. And then we also have uh, with this patience and pregnancy is, um, no, 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 no. I'm not hearing that. Oh, well, I mean, I suppose somebody could be pregnant right now. And if you are, congratulations. But, um... I'm hearing it's that um this that you're no longer waiting on this person. They're aware their life is forever changed because they know that they it's like they it feels like they you know what the when they say like the ship is already like the ship is sailed, they missed their, their boat, their train. You know, I I can't remember that phrase, but I think you know what I'm talking about. And that you're you're already started to birth a new life and no longer waiting. You have some kind of beautiful new beginning. This person is right now, they have a lot of inner conflict and inner turmoil about everything that's happened. Because it's like they feel, it's not that they're in fear, they're very clear about what's gone on, but it's something about that they don't, it's like not even having any memories of love. Because it's like, it feels to me like you guys had some good times, but nothing really ever took off for them to have, like, there was nothing. It feels like it never got to a place where it could be considered healthy, even in maybe friendship. I don't know. Something to that nature. Ooh. Ooh. And this person. Ooh. Okay, we're almost done right here. Let me just get this out. So how you change this person's life forever? Well, coming out, we have strategy and deceit in reverse. Broken heart in reverse. Archangel... Gabriel, Archangel Michael, upright and anxiety in reverse. Good God. Pile one. This person, now, what you did, <laughs> I'm almost feeling like this person had some kind of supernatural paranormal activity in regards to you. As weird as that sounds. I feel that there was more than an awakening of what kind of a, you know, connection this could have had the potential to be or was. But this person, how you change this life forever, let me just jump around a little bit right here. This person's never met somebody who didn't have a hidden motive the way you did. This person never met somebody who wasn't doing something deceitful, who didn't have, um, what do they call that? Uh, not just a, a, some kind of MO, but a hidden agenda, a motive operandi, operandi. This person didn't meet somebody who wasn't moving from a hurt space in everything that they did. Despite the fact that I'm not saying you've never been hurt because clearly in this card there are some things that have happened here. But this, you didn't let it dictate your moves of how you approached with other people and the, and the way you were navigating your life. You weren't like, okay, they hurt me, now I'm going to go screw this person. It's like you didn't do that and they'd never met somebody like that. This person doesn't understand the way you think and that the way it's like because they don't understand this person's life has changed, forever changed because they they couldn't understand the way you think and the way you move and because of that they thought you might have been doing something deceitful so they didn't want to come out and show everything they were all, also involved with and i'm feeling that there was some really strange things they got involved with here um and this person feels like <gasps> you guys are that pile oh my god hold on my baby's coming in hold on Okay, hi, I'm back. Okay, sorry you guys, I had to um, go tend to my baby, my Venus, for those of you who know. It's my cat, the lover. Oh my god, I hit my baby. Okay, so, uh, I'm not even sure where I left off now. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so this person also, um, with Archangel Gabriel and Michael, understands now too, I don't think they've ever met somebody who's had 
the spiritual backing you do and they're aware of this because of something you were able to pull off I'm hearing and the fact that you were able to move out of certain fears it's like there was it feels like there was some possibly some kind of attempted um I'm also seeing in certain cards here there might have been some attempted bullying or scare tactics going on with other people that this person was involved with and it's like despite there being a group or a crowd or other people who are very, 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 very well anchored in their toxic ways and had possibly, ooh, I'm hearing harmful or bad, bad intentions, we'll say, that you were able to navigate out of that. Also, you're, I asked, you know, give me, show me the energies of who my pile one is. You're coming out as the fire ant and the unicorn. You're rare. You're not like the others. With this fire ant, I'm seeing, you know, this is a crowd. This is everybody. This is like they all, you know, the fire, like the ants. You know when you see the ants and it's like there's a whole line of them and they take, they get, go get their food and they take it back to that, you know, ant farm or that, you know, big ant hill or whatever. And they just follow one another. They all do the same thing. It's like you can predict what the ants can do. But you're coming out ant in reverse with the unicorn. You're rare. You're mystical. You're mythical. Something very magical and rare about you and they've never come across it. They've never seen somebody move and operate and navigate through life the way you do. You might have even been going through a hard time and so they might not, it might have been, especially with the sun coming out reverse, it might have been hard for them to see all of your glory, we'll say, at first. And maybe that might have, you know, especially with them being very anchored into some toxic things with toxic people, it was hard for them to really understand the, the uniqueness and rarity of you but now they understand like this is this is not something they're not they know they're not going to come across another person like you in this lifetime they're not not that's going to give them the time of day not that's going to care about them and move it the way you move you know without having like hidden motives they don't understand your thinking though they don't understand the way your mind is wired the way you do things but they're awestruck by it and then i asked how they're coming out right now and i have the starfish in reverse which is telling me they're having a hard time healing from something because when i think of the starfish it's like i always think about how they you know if they lose their leg or their arm it grows back they regenerate they're very resilient very unique um, this person, it feels like with this in reverse, is they've taken some kind of harsh loss or some kind of injury. There's been some kind of huge, something really hard in their life that they're having a hard time regenerating or bouncing back from. And um, what's happened, you know, since it feels that you guys have parted ways, uh, and I think this has to do possibly with the truth that you spoke or the truth that you let be known is, they now realize they're having to move on. Because of whatever's happened here, it's forced this person to, that they know they've had to move forward for a way, you know, with this Six of Swords and the Ten of Cups is, I would, especially, okay, especially with this, okay, I'm being shown here a specific storyline with this um, Six of Swords, Ten of Cups, Five of Swords. And you see here in this Ten of Cups how there's a, ha I don't know if you can see there's a house here, and then the next card, the house is up in smoke. <laughs> They're realizing they're, they've lost, they've had to move on or lose some kind of a, what they thought was going to be some kind of a happy situation, happy home situation, a foundation, a home, a partnership that they're realizing now it's gone up in smoke. It's not what it was due to the fact that somebody, perhaps somebody they were committed to or something that they were, or because of something they were committed to, was doing things behind their back that they were unaware of. That they committed to something that, you know, you have one, one person here holding a snake, one person here holding a dove. It's almost like they had a choice and they, they weren't sure which way to go and they sacrificed the wrong thing. Because they weren't willing to end something. And perhaps, and then next out, come, last but not least coming out, we have this Eight of Wands. And I don't know if you guys can see it. There's, at the end of those angel, Eight of Wands, there's an angel there catching an arrow. They realized that every single thing that was going on behind their back, every attack sent at you, every false accusation sent at you, nothing hit you. They never seen nothing like it. See that angel? 
And this came out right over Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Michael. Every single freaking wand. Arrow being poof, That angel's right there catching every single one of them. Nothing hit you. They've never seen anything like it. Ever. Their life is forever changed by you. They don't think they'll ever come across anything like you, anyone like you ever again. I think I read these ones already, but... Yeah, it feels to me like, especially with this combination, this person was, I'm hearing Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde in this card because we have a monster face and then a regular face. This person was really hiding um, something they were doing, especially like Alpha 2 in this card, I just want to say, with this um, midnight card, which is the gremlins in reverse. Remember that? I remember there was something about water getting on them and they're changing and then I'm hearing from water that is, I know, another um, nickname for like certain designer, D-R-U-G-S. Um, this person might have had things they were indulging in and when they were did that, they became a different person and did a lot of shocking things with different people. They might have also had um, some kind of you know, with um, the shock card, this is, you know, from the movie, um, from that Alfred Hitchcock, what is it, Psycho, where the guy has that whole thing with his mother. This person might have had some weird, strange things going on with their mother that they caused them to, you know, escape or indulge in different things. Um, and a lot of things blew up in their face because of who they were involving themselves in the community. And it just feels like this turned into a whole mess. And that um, either somebody they were... Involved with or involved with, <laughs> there goes my word. Involved with or committed to, might have sent some attacks towards you or them, and they know the only way somebody could have survived that is through like a divine, heavenly intervention and protection. They've never seen anything like it, and now they're. It feels like they've either they're stuck in something they're trying to get out of, and they have are they're having a hard time healing from a lot of disruption or turmoil, and they're just thinking about. Some kind of truth you spoke, something you said before you moved away from them, some kind of truth you let be known, and it's changed them, and their life will never be the same. Anyways, um, that's all I have for you. This one went a little longer than I expected. I hope you'll feel called to like and subscribe. Pile 1, I'm going to take it to Pile 2. Hi, Pile 2. If you chose the Black Tourmaline, Pile 2, this is your reading. Whose life is forever changed by you? Okay, pal two, let's get right into it. So coming out first, we have no moving and mercury retrograde in reverse. And what I'm getting from this is this is somebody who used to have a hard time saying no to. At some point, you could have lived with this person or talked about living with this person. If you guys didn't live together, you might have talked about it, um, but you very well could have um, moved in together at some point. I don't feel this is somebody you live with anymore. If it is, it feels like this is somebody you're trying to move away from. This is also somebody who you don't want to go back to. Um, whether this is a family member, a lover, somebody you are connected to, um, an ex, a business partner. I could very well see also business partner in these energies I'm seeing on the board. Um, this is somebody who it feels like you're either you've either moved away from or you're trying to move away from and that you don't want to go if they came back you don't want to it's like you used to not be able to say no to this person but now you don't really it feels like you don't want much to do with this person um, trying to get away. I'm also seeing um, financial material changes patience and shadow next so I, this is somebody who i feel like with this hand this is somebody you helped um and you helped them uh in their life to make a lot of positive movement forward um financially and material to materially so you might have helped them with their work or been with them helping them out at a time in their life when work was a big focus you were very patient with this person very patient with this person while they were really operating from a place of their shadow is what it feels like um it feels like this was somebody who you guys might have even mirrored um or triggered certain wounds within each other but definitely feeling like this is somebody who um was working from their operating from their shadow a lot um also coming out here we have a woman holding a coin in reverse woman holding a heart in reverse and angel of love upright now not gender specific what i'm actually getting off of these cards here is um that even when you didn't have a lot uh 
Ooh, no, actually, I'm getting a different channel now. I'm hearing that um, even th this person, when they had a opportunities to give to you, or it's like they, this person wasn't very, how to word, generous. This person wasn't always very generous with you emotionally or even like when it comes to like materially. Like they kind of like held back a lot from you, but you were still very loving and caring to them. It feels to me like they didn't um, reciprocate a lot of the maybe support that you gave them. It feels like you gave them a lot of help and a lot of support and they didn't always reciprocate it back. They might have been more a little bit more stingy with a lot of things. Like let's just say if you helped them with their work, then they didn't really give you much back or, you know, it's kind of like maybe not pay you for your time but maybe that so it's like um i'll give you an example like say if you were in a, some kind of commitment this is just an example and you know your partner started a business and you really helped them build it up off the ground and then it's like they hardly gave, give you any money like it's like they didn't put you on the account like you're like wait i need money to go you know buy groceries or go shopping and they're just giving you barely little, but you're still very loving to them. It's kind of like, an, that's the example I'm feeling here. Or like I said, it could even be a friend, like, hey, like my, you know, you have a friend and they're like, hey, I need help. I'm trying to, you know, I'm doing this project. I'm trying to get this off. I'm starting off from scratch or I'm having trouble at work and you go and you help them do their whole inventory at their business. And then they bought you, didn't even buy you lunch, but you're still really kind to them. Something of that nature, okay? And the next coming out we have with this guidebook and wealthy man. And like I said before, you know, not gender specific, but this is somebody who you gave some kind of extremely helpful, wise guidance or advice. Like you gave them some kind of help, whether it was something, an intuitive download you got and you shared some kind of your spiritual gift with this person or it was that you gave them advice on something they were doing that was very helpful, very profitable for this person. It helped them really move, whether it was just move to a better place in life or whatever, you know, guidance or idea you shared with them, they were able to maybe monetize or make money off of that. And something you did was a great help. You gave them some kind of extremely valuable guidance, okay? Um, I'm also seeing here, let's see, two of chalices, reverse, seven of pentacles, reverse, high priestess, and knave of pentacles. So I feel like maybe perhaps some of the guidance that you gave this person was who, um, who not to maybe go into contract with or I, what's weird I heard it like that or who not to do business with or who not to link up with it's like you gave them some kind of advice like hey that's not a good idea it's you're not going to get your inner like whatever kind of money or work or whatever you put into that you're not going to get it back in return that you let them know that that person had a lot of things they were doing in the background that they weren't telling that like them about it's like you made this person you gave them this person some kind of guidance or you gave them the awareness of hey this isn't a good person to get into a relationship with or this isn't a good person to partner up with in business or this isn't a good person to do that work on things with or hey you know maybe that person at church or uh, on your football team or something is not a good person to partner up with. This person, you're not going to get back what you're putting into it. This person is keeping secrets from you. This person isn't going to give back to you. This person is not somebody you should give to. This person has things they're doing in the background. You won't get anything back. And it was very wise counsel, we'll say, or advice you gave this person. It was it helped this person out a lot. It sounds to me like you always gave this person really good sound advice that was very helpful for, for them. Um, and this card I'm seeing again, oh, seven pentacles again, and look at all these different chairs. And we also have the ten of swords in reverse. This is telling me that you played many different roles in this person's life. It's like when they needed you to be a friend, when they needed you to be a mom, when they needed you to be their dad, when they needed you to be like a partner, when they needed you on business, you were able to play different roles in this person's life. Like, hey, I need you to be like friend to me now. I need you to be like, give, um, nurture me now. I need you to be playful with me now. I need you to work on business. It's like whatever your true title was in this person's life, you were there playing many roles for this person in their life. Also, with the, the way these chairs are, you know, come, going from bigger and bigger and bigger, it's like you are there for this person when it's almost like they might have started out at the bottom and as they were working their way up to a higher place, you were there for them. You also helped save this person from some kind of really harsh situation where they, it's almost like they were drowning. They were not, you helped them get back above water. You know, you see with that, that boat that's getting ready to sink 
It's like you help this person get back above water in some kind of situation. You help save them. It feels like you were, yeah, 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 yeah. And then like you see this, and there's a lot of business things that are being highlighted to me. And then next we have wonder of the world and help me. It feels to me like this is somebody who is very, very much willing to do anything by any means necessary to get to the next level that they were trying to get to. Um, this is somebody who is very, they had, the, they're very, you know, they were hungry for success, hungry for good life to be, whether, whatever, when, whatever avenue that was, whether they, it was, if there's a lot of business things being highlighted here. So if they were somebody who was hungry to become a successful CEO or business owner or wanted to make it to supervisor or manager or do something, it's like maybe they wanted to become an actor or an actress or somewhere, something in the music industry. This is feeling like somebody who was by any means necessary willing to do what they had to do to get to the next level. And it feels to me like you're somebody, whatever your actual title or connection to this person was, who's always there to give them sound advice, even though for the, it seems like for a long time, they really didn't give back like how you gave to them. Um, but you were very loving to them for a long time, but it's like, you, uh, just, it's like they stayed in their shadow because they were always still, nothing was enough. They always wanted to go more to the next level, to the next level. Like, I've got to make it like, you know, um, despite, and it feels to me like, um, especially like seeing, you know, in this wonder of the world, he's climbing a business building, that monster. It's like, and there's, um, some, they got somebody in their hand, right? He's got, the monster's got something in their hand. It's like, they're using you to climb this ladder of success. And then with this help me, it's almost like, Aside from the help you're giving them, I almost feel, it's given the feeling, you know, they say some people will do anything, maybe for fame even, or success, you know, even make a deal with the devil. You don't know. It feels to me like this person might have made some kind of deal or contract or done th did things to get on it or to gain success or money that it's almost a feeling of like selling their soul. They sold, it's like they sold out. They became a sellout. Like they went above and beyond things that most people are like, yeah, but how low would you stoop? You would do that, you know, like you're willing to step on whose toes? You know, like it's almost like who is, I'm hearing right now, who is your master? Who do you really serve? Like this person got so hungry and thirsty for success or fame or business or something that it's like they stepped on the people who helped them they didn't give back or pay even perhaps the people who helped them, including you. It's feeling like they might have, it's like the feeling of somebody who sold their soul. It's like they were just too much in their shadow, you know, that they might have even, you know, it's giving a feeling like in this help me card, it's, you know, that's like from the movie, you know, the exorcism or it's like something else was operating from within this person at some point because they just became too hungry or thirsty for success, you know, or business or money or fame. Um, now coming down here. Yeah. And then I'm asking who you are, you know, and for who you are, I got the fox, the dragon and the stingray. Wow pile two this you're somebody who's not sneaky you're somebody who's not sneaky you know the fox that's you're somebody who's not sneaky you don't do things sneaky it's like you didn't you're not somebody who they some people have to worry about that's doing something you know sneaky but with this dragon but you're also somebody who's not to be toyed with you see everything you see everything you don't miss a beat. You see that eye? You see it all. You're not sneaky, but you see everything and you see through things. And the stingray, you know, the lights on the, the spine is being highlighted here. You're somebody who's also balanced and aligned. Um, somebody who's, you know, aligned, especially in your emotions. Stingrays are in the water. Um, you have a backbone. You're not scared. You see through things and you'll call things out, but you're not a sneaky person. And when I asked who this person is, oh, baby, baby, they came out as the crocodile and the shark. Yikes. Can we say predator? Predator? And I, I you know, that it's when I see the shark, it's giving me the feeling of shark tank, like all these different little business things and crocodile. This is somebody who is viciously will lie and wait for an opportunity to go after it viciously. And I'm hearing again, by any means necessary.
by any means necessary. This is someone who's going to do what it, whatever they have to do to get what they want, to get what they're going, to get on to the next level. And it feels to me like you are somebody who was actually very helpful to this person um, uh, during the time when they were trying to move up the ladder or helping them, giving them sound, sound advice, making them aware of who, what, and what not to do and not to do business with. And this person wasn't always very giving back to you. Okay, see, we're almost done here. Um, it feels to me like when I asked how... Uh, hold on, I lost, just lost my channel. Give me one second. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, it feels to me at some point, despite this person leaving you with a lot of mental conflict, because it almost feels to me like they were a little bit maybe mentally abusive, you were still very giving and sharing with this person. You still came together and helped this person, even though it feels to me like this person... Is this vice versa? Yeah, this person didn't always um, take accountability for what all they were doing, for what all they had achieved or accomplished, so that way it's almost like they wouldn't have to share. But you still helped this person. You also helped help this. It feels to me like you've helped to help this. Help to help. You've helped this person to heal from some kind of situation. Or now this person is having to heal from the loss of you. You, it feels to me like you also gave this person some kind of sound guidance or advice about something that somebody was doing in secret behind them. If this person was not somebody you were with, but they were in it, some kind of connection, um, this might not be for everybody. It feels to me like you gave them, a, whether it was from your own spiritual gift, some kind of guidance and made them aware of that something that somebody was doing behind their back perhaps cheating, wanting to go in a different direction towards somebody else or that they weren't, or that somebody they were with wasn't planning on having a happy family with them. And that you um, also wouldn't fight with this person. I feel like you're a very peaceful, it's like I think you see things, you see through things, but you also, it's like help this person, um, okay, I'm hearing to weed out, not not fight, but it's it's that you help this person weed out competition. I feel like you really just assisted this person in a lot of things. Mm -hmm. This And so why this person will never forgive you, forget forgive you. Oh, I feel it's more maybe you won't forgive this person. Something happened here because I'm looking at the star and that's why I got forgiveness. It's strange. But why this person will never forget you? Perhaps something did happen here. Um, yeah, it's because of how much help and of a guy. This person will never forget you because you've been such a guiding light in their life. I feel like now it's either that because you have moved on from this person, you must, some of you, this might have been somebody who, yeah, you were with and you separated from. Um, is this person doesn't have anybody giving them sound advice. They now look for help and they can't find the same kind of help and guidance. Um, this person realizes how healing and how loving you were. This person feels like you were supposed to be a part of their destiny. This person feels like you've closed them out forever and they feel like no one's ever been as nice to them as you have. And now they feel like they don't know how they can move forward without you in their life. Their life will never be the same. They feel like they're never going to meet someone like you again. They probably won't. Not behaving like this, they won't. Okay, so that's what I have for you today, Pile 2. I'm going to go ahead and take it to Pile 3. Why can I not? Hi, Pile 3. If you chose the Selenite Tower, Pile 3, this is your reading. Whose life is forever changed by you? Okay, um, so this pile is a bit specific, so I'm just going to say, um, before I get into reading it, this really is giving the feeling, and I could see it definitely when I was laying these cards down, is that this feels like somebody um, who you are or were in a serious commitment with before. It could be if you're divorced or an ex or maybe you were a fiance, 
something to that nature but it feels like maybe like somebody who you're not with anymore so if you're this is giving the feeling like this is somebody you used to be in a serious commitment with okay so i just want to say that before i start reading so let me go ahead and get into it pile three so coming out we have change of mature woman in reverse and it's giving the feeling that this is somebody who is having a hard time changing their ways um for for you because of they not wanting possibly to because they had maybe um feels like a mother who disapproved of you like if they if you had like a mother-in-law or somebody who disapproved of you or just got too much involved into your partnership or relationship um it feels like that so this person had a hard time changing because of it feels like the influence of and if it's not a mother it could be you know some other it's it's feeling feminine i guess it could be a, fa a father-in-law but it's feeling more of like a mother um, or, you know, if they had an aunt or just some kind of, um, you know, feminine energy who was just maybe overly involved or in their life still. And they were, so they were having a hard time changing because they didn't want to, you know, they had a disapproving, you know, mother or grandmother or something of that nature. This is somebody that, um, there was a lot of potential though for you guys to manifest, or maybe you did manifest. Maybe there's a lot you guys did accomplish together. This person possibly could have a like to go gambling or had a gambling problem. They don't have to, or there was just some risky decisions or foolish decisions this person made while you guys were in connection. Um, I'm feeling here too with, um, well, and, and my, my, condolences or apologies if but there might have been um you guys might have had trouble either um if you guys were trying to have a baby and maybe you had a, this could be possibly not now this part won't be for everyone maybe there is some fertility issues or you guys had trouble having kids you know that that could be also just a confirmation for somebody but there was just certain things that you guys were having trouble with growth in the connection um, also with celebration in reverse, I feel like there was, um, maybe possibly because of this mother figure or other family members that were disapproving. It's like, um, it feels like that, that this person had family that was like kind of disapproving of you. And so maybe there was, um, certain family functions or events that they didn't invite you or, um, They just, it's like whether they didn't invite you to like maybe on the holidays or to certain family events, or they just didn't include you in certain things with the family um it feels to me like it became a bit of a nightmare like just trying to deal with this person's family or their or their their close-knit circle um and it just it was like it feels like you it almost was like you felt like they were trying to make you out to be the problem also um with fourth chakra archangel Raphael goddess of the moon in reverse and the door to romance and goddess of the moon in reverse is kind of giving the feeling of intuition or secrets so i this person is somebody who didn't have um a very strong intuition like there's a lot of things they should have been able to sense or or see um about your guys's connection this person is somebody who that you are very healing to very loving to there was a lot of potential here um, also with partnerships and alliances for foundation, conflict and defeat, destiny and third eye chakra reverse. Yeah, once again, there's that intuition coming out reverse. So it's like this person was like, it seems like they were more, it's almost like they, they it feels to feel like they sided with other people over you whenever there is a problem. Um, instead of working on keeping a firm foundation. Um, you guys might have lived together, you might have had a home together, but, um, and there was a lot of potential for a lot of beautiful things to happen here. But it's like, you know, it felt like you were the only one who was like, you got tired of all the conflict, like always having to be the one to stand up for yourself and come out of like whatever conflicts and problems there were. This person was unable to intuitively see like the four, well, it's almost like unable to see the forest through the trees. It's like they were, it's almost like so worried about what everybody else said and th thought and always siding with everyone else. It's like, it kind of like, you know, especially with this destiny coming out in reverse, it's like you couldn't see yourself being in that, that this situation for much longer is what it feels like that you eventually had to leave. Um, yeah, this person made it hard for you to work on things. 
This person made it hard. You didn't feel like you were being treated fairly. You it, uh, gave the feeling of feeling alone a lot in this situation. This person often, I feel, put their work ahead of you and was very, you know, in this King of Pentacles, you know, there's, there was, you know, what they call it, wheel and cog or whatever, like, it's like was always it's like this they were very smart and calculated and a lot of things they did um and it's like uh, the feeling of not paying attention to you or giving you the proper attention that you deserved even though it feels like you were probably the only one who really knew how to soothe and tame this person you understood this person's shadow and dark side and was very caring and loving to this person um how you change this person's life forever is it's a <laughs> Now that you're gone, or I'm hearing that song from Kelly Clarkson again, since you've been gone, yeah, yeah, you know, it's like now this person realizes that you are their wish fulfillment, that they don't have what they want. It feels to me that now that you've turned your back and walked away, this person realizes like how you are everything that they wanted. Like how did they drop the bag? How did they slip, let this one slip out through their fingers? This person realizes that you're very, there's something very traditional. You are like the perfect you know, as they would say, spouse material, you're everything that they wanted. This person is haunted by the memory of you. This is how you've changed your life forever. They can't get you out of their mind. They think about all the things that they did and all the things that are like, un that they never healed. And it's like, you know, in this card, I don't know if you could see, like, it's, you know, how they say like the ghosts of Christmas past. It's like, you know, this is a card that often talks about healing and, 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 and dreams and stuff. And you see in this, on the vice versa side, how it's like, there's like that ghost like the skeletons of their closet. It's coming out reverse. They can't heal. They can't, it's like they they lay down, when, as soon as they lay down at night, you're the first thing on their mind and they think about everything that went wrong and how nothing really got fixed or changed. And um, with this three of wands in reverse, they realize you're, they're, you're not coming back. You're not coming back. It's a, a big feeling of what I should have done, what I could have, should have done differently, if only. How you change this person's life? Um, yeah, this person now realizes that um, no one was ever as like soothing. I'm hearing the word soothing as you were. No, um, they feel like you were their destiny, and that they they dropped it. They feel like they made foolish decisions and chose other things over you. That they were get more giving to other people than you. Um, that they, they really didn't invest in you the way they should have. They didn't listen to what you had to say. They, they didn't see the signs that, that, that things were falling apart and that you were tired of waiting around. They, that you were tired of the manipulation and didn't want to do it anymore. They wish they would have never been so manipulative and had so many tricks and sided with so many other people. They realize now with this bear and the tarantula in reverse is that you are tired of being stuck in their web. You are tired of feeling trapped, that you are a very loving, good, you know, whether if you guys had kids, they love your, your parenting skills. They realize that you're very um, protective, supportive. They love that about you. They love how you take care of your own and how you take care of family and they wish they would have done that with you. Um, and for coming out for them, we got the peacock and I'm seeing all these eyes here is they wish they would have never put on a show because of all the people who they was involved in watching and got involved in your guys's business. Like all, you know, they had a lot of family members who were looking in on what it feels like, or friends who were looking in on your guys's situation and watching. And so they felt like they had to put on a show for everyone else to look good. And now they really deeply regret that and their life is forever changed. Feels like they, they dropped the ball. They dropped, they lost the bag. They missed out on the good thing they had it and lost it so that's what i have for you pile three this is whose life is forever changed by you i'm gonna go ahead and take it to pile four hi pile four if you chose the citrine pile four this is your reading whose life is forever changed by you this is a very interesting pile from the cards i see coming out this is so let's get right into it. Okay, I'm gonna start channeling here, hold on. All right, let's get this. Let's go, pile four. I have a feeling that some of you in this pile have some uh, extreme spiritual gifts. I might even have some mediums and just some um, highly evolved souls here. So let's get into it. Coming out the other side and dance. Whose life is forever changed by you, pile four? Um, 
This is actually, a, I'm, I'm seeing a few people. Um, I'm seeing that this would be people who either judged you or belittled you because of different spiritual gifts you had. They, I feel you are a very unique person. I feel you have some unique abilities and gifts and there are things that a lot of other people maybe who might be described as normies or they were just, you know, acquaintances, friends, whatnot, didn't believe you. They, I feel like they tried to humiliate you. I feel like there's at least a group or a crowd here that tried to humiliate you because of your spiritual gifts or your abilities and um, that you're just different. And I think they kind of maybe like somewhat targeted you or singled you out because you are different and um, because they didn't understand it and they tried to make you out to look crazy or they were definitely saying that you are crazy and they tried to do something to humiliate you. Um, and it feels like it didn't work. It feels like I'm, I'm, this is where my, I'm actually picking up on an energy here from one of the piles from a reading I did a while back called Supernatural Paranormal Pick a Card. And it's making me feel, because I'm picking up on these energies, it's making me feel like they did something to try to humiliate you and it backfired. It's giving the feeling like they did something to try to humiliate you or you know, in front of other people or a group or maybe, you know, spy on you to see what you're doing, to say, like, saying you're crazy and that something supernatural or paranormal happened and it spooked them all and now they're, like, it kind of backfired, like, that person really does have some kind of gift or ability or what the fuck was that? Like, it spooked the fuck. <laughs> I'm hearing they'll never be the same. They'll never be the same. <laughs> Whatever happened completely... I feel changed their beliefs, changed our perspective, and I feel they got karma for it. So let's keep going. We also have thoughts, <laughs> adjudication, and reverse. These people, I think, till still to this day, no matter how long ago this happened, think about what it is they saw, what took place. Um, they think about you. They think about how unfairly you were treated. Um, they think about just how greatly they misjudged you. I think they feel that they greatly underestimated you and now it's um i feel for a lot of them rearranged the whole thinking and the way they out their outlook on spirituality on life and and i think you come across their mind often and they realize just how greatly they misjudged you they might have even with this adjudication in reverse they might have even tried to humiliate you or set you up or do something to get you caught up with the law and i think your intuition and your guides have your back too much and it was too on point and they weren't able to pull off whatever it is they were attempting to do whether whether this was a humiliation singling you out targeting you um setting you up something and it backfired greatly in their face and they're never, it's like it changed their whole view on many things and they will never be the same and they weren't able to pull it off. I'm also seeing distance and commitment. Um, I feel like they were, um, with this distance and commitment, actually what I'm getting is they were trying to, like, they were trying to put distance between you and other people. This doesn't, I'm, with commitment, I'm not necessarily feeling this has to do with a commitment you were in, but perhaps there was somebody who was also a part of this friends group or crowd who was interested in you and these uh, somebody, maybe whoever the ringleader was in this, was attempting to make space and distance between that person and you so that person would be interested. I feel like there was a lot of like shaming and uh, humiliating and talking down like, oh, you like this person? They're crazy. They do this. They talk. They hear voices. They talk to themselves. Da -da -da. And then try to turn it into like a group joke. Like, let's go so-and-so or, you know, let's go, you know, you know, do something stupid, something silly, you know, um, crank call, hack, hack their phone, you know, go throw little things at their window or at their wall so they think they're going crazy. There's something here that they did in an attempt to humiliate you, and when they did it, it really blew up. <laughs> I'm hearing there was somebody who had a supernatural paranormal experience that they weren't quite, something blew up in their face. Your guides showed out for you is what it's feeling like. Your guides went above and beyond. Okay, so let's keep going. We have third chakra, Archangel Samuel, the garden and the gate, indecision, second chakra, Archangel Ariel, and yin yang. Oh boy. Oh boy. So it is possible that whoever this was that they were trying to make, create distance 
you know, this won't be for everybody, but for somebody here, it is possible that the person they were trying to create distance between you and the other, that person could have been possibly a counterpart or somebody who had a, who would have been a great, in great balance with you had they not followed the crowd. Sorry about the dog barking. If you guys hear my dog barking, Sophie, it's okay, baby. Okay. So, um, let me go back. So with this, um, <laughs> got all these cards mixed up now. Oh. <sighs> The tangled webs they weave. The tangled webs they weave. Here we go. I got them all mixed up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is telling me that somebody was in decision about coming towards you. Um, they were looking in your direction, but they were in indecision about it because they were um, operating from um, the more their sacral chakra. Um, instead of doing things like willing things, doing things that they wanted to do, they were still very rooted in their passions. Um, maybe like they're, I, I'm, and I'm not hearing like the creative part of the sacral chakra, but more like um, an imbalanced sacral chakra where they were just more worried about things that they were doing with other people, maybe other connections that they had. I feel like people in this group were hooking up with each other. It feels like one of those friends groups where like so-and-so is hooking up with so-and-so. Like everybody had at one point or another hooked up with each other. Real low vibrational. Um, they, they didn't know how to move forward and do things they wanted to do. A lot of them were off balance. Um, uh, I think a few, one, one or maybe a couple of them were really in indecision about you and not sure if they wanted to do this or not, but just kind of went along with the crowd. Yikes. Disconnect and bored. Yeah, these people were bored. These people did, it feels to me like they counted you out. Like they left you out in the cold so that you would be alone and not really have anybody. Um, they really underestimated though, um, like how creative and how unique you are. Um, a lot of them, I think they were trying to, with choose wisely and intuition in reverse, is they were trying to make you think you were going crazy so you couldn't tell which direction this was coming from or who was doing what so that it would block your intuition so that you would feel like you're crazy and like that way, it's like almost like I feel like there's a ringleader here is what it feels like. It was like, you do this and you do that and you do this. It had multiple people involved in with you and so that way you wouldn't be able to figure out which direction it was coming from who was doing what or why what was happening so you would think you were going crazy and you wouldn't have your intuition so I feel that somebody in this situ in this situation in this group in this crowd was very well aware of your gifts and how intuitively um, sharp you are and how on point you are and how smart and creative you are and I feel they knew you would be able to figure it out if it was just one or two of them and actually got multiple people involved in you know, singling you out, targeting you, messing with you. It's really, a, it's really an unfortunate situation. Okay, so coming up next, we have full judgment in reverse. Ooh, ooh. What is this with these pillars? The Four of Cups and the Empress in reverse. Yikes! <laughs> mm. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is. These, pre whatever this, pre whatever it is that they were trying to stop you from, I feel like maybe even being a part of a friends group or part of a crowd, they realize how greatly they misjudge you. They realize with these angels on this card that there, you do have a spiritual backing and that there was something spiritual happened here. So there's, there's like, it's something, something blew up in their face where they're like, these people were shocked. These people were like, how did this happen? They don't understand. They, you, it's like. They thought you were, it's like, I'm just giving the feeling like they thought you were alone, but with these pillars, it's like that you are too strong to break down. It's like, they, it's sad, but it's like almost like these people were trying to pick on you or break you down so that you would feel less than worthy or crazy or alone. Um, it's really giving a very, very, really targeting, a really bullying feeling. And these people, despite the fact that there was a multiple them and you weren't able to break you down. Um, they weren't able, able to make you stop loving yourself with this Empress Reverse. Um, they feel very foolish and they realize that, you know, whatever they were trying to stop from you ended up stopping them from having certain beginnings and put them themselves under some kind of judgment. Where now it's like they always feel like something in their life is missing. With this, I'm just looking at this puzzle piece. It's like 
a lot of them still, they, they, they feel like there's a piece of the puzzle missing because they don't understand exactly how what happened happened, but they know that their view, the whole view they have on everything was very distorted. Um, they realize now their view on life was very distorted. They realize the way they were living their life was distorted. They realize they were very foolish for even attempting to come at you in this way. They realize they should have believed you. Um, it, it's I think it's giving the feeling that people who don't have gifts, it's hard for them to understand how spiritual gifts work. And it, and this is the crazy part. It's not that they don't have gifts because they do. If they would do the work on themselves and tune in, they could awaken their own gifts. But these are people who are highly unawakened, very low vibrational, very high mind, very gang mentality, running with the crowd, you know, follow the leader. They don't know how to think for themselves, don't know how to be their own man or their own woman. And it's, they just, it's, they did something on and it was like a group effort and it blew up in their face. I really, it's really feeling like something, your guides showed out for you. It's, it's what it's feeling like. Your guides taught them a lesson and they're like, I think a lot of them still to this day, there's like something missing. They don't understand exactly how it happened or why what happened or why something didn't work. But now they feel like they don't know what to believe about their own lives or anything. <laughs> Yikes! Okay, so let's see what else we have here. Ten of Swords in reverse. Ooh, ooh, we're going from the nine to the ten. Oh, King of Cups in reverse. Three of Wands. Five of Pentacles reverse. Six of Wands reverse. Nine of Swords reverse. Ten of Swords reverse. Ouch. This is going back to whoever it was in this group who I feel felt whether this is some, it doesn't have to be a counterpart thing, but this is somebody who really, I think was interested in you. This might be somebody you connected with before and somehow they were involved in this. Somehow they went along with following the crowd and worried about what everyone else thought and they were involved in this. And what I'm seeing here is this person's life is forever changed by you. This person feels so bad for not being, for not standing up for you, for not giving to you. For they now, it's like they're waiting for you to look their way again. They wish they could. It feels like you cut this person off. They they're waiting to come out of the cold with you. They oh, they've been karma's turned around on them badly, especially because the, this person knew better of you this person knew that you were gifted and this person went along with whatever this was and now this person is humiliated this person is look at this you see the demon on this card and this knight of swords how there's like this demon here this person still to this day has thoughts and flashes of whatever took place and whatever happened that blew up in their face and this person now realizes um, they feel like they have no closure for what they did. They feel very betrayed and backstabbed by everybody in this group. It feels to me like everybody ended up turning on each other because they didn't understand what happened. And so it feels, it's like the feeling like some person's like, well, you must have done something or this is your fault. It's like they, everything blew up in their face. It's almost like everybody who ganged up on you now don't get along. Now they don't understand what happened. Now they're suspicious of each other. They become it's, the paranoia is the word. It's they, they, they don't understand what this energy was of what happened or why nothing worked and how one against how many, you know, like, and now they're very suspicious and paranoid of each other. Um, I feel your guides have placed a lot of that heavy energy that from them trying to bully you, single you out and confuse you. Has, it's like, whether maybe you did a return to center, but if not your guides did it for you. Your guides did it for you and everything that all these like confusing bullying energies is coming at them and turn these people against each other and the person who is connected to you who knew better of you and stick up for you feels very betrayed in this crowd and all they can think about is how they left you alone in this situation and followed the crowd and it haunts them they might and this is i feel like this is your spirit guides I'm hearing, I'm not that innocent. The Britney Spears, this is that pile again. That, this is from another reading. I'm, I'm getting energies from different piles from different readings right now. It's very interesting. Um, you're, it's almost like you might be nice. You might, you might be a good person, which you are. But your spirit guides are like, yeah, but I don't have to be. That person's much nicer than I am. And, and that's a big part of the reason why the backing is coming the way it is. And I feel like a lot of these people don't understand why they're being tormented the way they are. And it's because of what they were trying to do to you. <laughs> okay, so um, here, this is like, I feel like getting a little bit into the after effects, the aftermath of what's happened here. Um, you've turned your back on these people. These people don't know what's going on with you. Um, you've moved away and you're doing things, I feel, in the dark where these people can't see. They don't know what's happening. Um, Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. 
Oh, these people are embarrassed. These people have been humiliated. These people have turned against each other. These people have bad reputations right now. Death came for them. Death came for them. A lot of endings came for them. A karmic, these people and got a lot of karmic endings that they could not escape behind this. Coming for you only sped up a karmic process in their life. Uh, it's like they got, they came for the wrong one. They came for the wrong one. They little did they know, just because they didn't understand your spiritual gifts and why and that you're different didn't give them the right to try to humiliate you, to bully you, to be mean to you. Nobody likes to be treated, nobody likes to be stereotyped, nobody likes to be oppressed, nobody likes to be judged, but they were real quick to do it to you because of, you know, the unique gifts you had and your unique beliefs is what it feels like. And your guides were like, oh yeah? Well, I got their back. And the karmic endings that came for them, they are unable to escape. These people feel very left out, alone, and out in the cold. They are having, a lot of them are having financial hard times too and wondering why they're not having good luck and things aren't working out for them. It's because, of, uh, oh, five, five of pentacles. These are vice versa. That's how I know it's referring to them. Coming out next to the devil. They're having bad luck because of the karmic, the karma they binded themselves to in this. Right. This is who they're answering to now. And you see this, the, uh, and this, this devil card, both the male and the female that are chained here to the devil, they have a mask on. None of them can show their true face, how they truly feel or say what they really want to each other, but they're stuck in that same crowd. It's like they all feel, they're all paranoid and suspicious of each other, but they feel like they can't leave each other. Cause they all feel like some, and I feel like it has something to do with what they tried to do here. They feel like they're connected. Like, I almost feel like there could have been something um, um, that could be even incriminating that they all got involved with here. And that might have to do with what they did to you. This It's almost even given the feeling of possibly even like gang stalking, bullying, cyber bullying, um, maybe hacking, identity theft. They did something to that they, where these people singled you out. And it's giving the feeling that now it's like they're all almost... They're suspicious of each other, they're paranoid of each other, but at the same time, they can't leave each other because they're like, oh, well, if I, I have to stay in contact with them to make sure this person isn't telling. Ooh, yikes. So not only are they suspicious, humiliated, have bad reputations, don't like each other, don't trust each other. They know that while they're involved with these people, nothing's working out. They're afraid to leave the crowd because they're afraid to get told on. Is what it feels like. I think they end, yeah, oh. And now I think a lot of them are realizing how good of a person, how nice and nurturing you are, and that you've turned your back because you have a beautiful new beginning that you're working on. Things are sunshiny for you. They're seeing the sunshine for you, but they're not seeing your face. They're seeing your back. They're seeing that now you are all that guidance. You have, have guidance that comes from above, and they know that your guidance is sound guidance because it feels like that's the only way you could have made it out of this situation. The only way you could have made it out, you by yourself against this group, this crowd, whatever this is. You are here and it's showing right now, I asked to, um, it's like what's going on with you now. You are healed. You claimed authority over your life. You're not holding the, and it feels like you're not actually holding this against these people. Not that you don't care, not that you don't, like, because I think you do, because I think that it's been a healing process is what it feels like for you, but it's almost like you're not, it's like you're not, not not calling these people out. It's, it's that, it's almost like you're not giving it any attention. You're just like, you've, you're doing your own life now. You're moving forward. Um... It's like these people are seeing that you didn't get, have to, it's like these people are still under judgment and having to answer for things. And I think they still try to look your way to see what you're up to, to see what's going on because you still cross their mind, but not, not any of them, none of them would ever approach you or say anything about what happened. Um, it's almost feeling like it possibly it could even be sometimes incriminating or that they would. It's like, I think all, all these people, especially with those masks, have tried to hide their face on who was doing what. Remember, so that you wouldn't know who, which what was happening and from which direction it was coming. Sorry if you heard the talking in the background. My parents are in the other room. Um, but they also know that you were aware of everything that was going on, especially with these birds up here, because you had spiritual guidance. So they know that that's the only way. that, 
everything you said about your gifts, you weren't crazy, that everything you was you said was on point, and you, there's, that's the only way you were able to know exactly everything that was going on, and that they ended nothing for you. They ended nothing for you, and that they wish they would have never cut you off, um, and that then they all have bad reputations right now, among, not just amongst each other, but it feels like amongst other people, the community, the crowd, it feels like a lot of people know. It feels like they got bad attention for what they did, that other people are very aware of what they tried to do here. Uh, <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> okay, so I pulled some, not, not what happened, but the cards I, the last couple cards I have here for you, uh, pile four is, I pulled a couple cards asking about your energy, and we have the hummingbird and earthworm in reverse. Right now you are at a place where you are capable, you are light as a feather. You have a, your, your conscience is clean, clear. Your light is a feather. You're free to move in any direction you want. You don't, you have a lot of restrictions that were removed that these people try to put on you and you're not keeping yourself hidden. You're not keeping underground. It's like how they try to keep you alone, keep you almost like singled out to yourself, you know, like have no one talk to you, like keep you away from, you're not hidden. You're not underground. You're up and moving wherever you want. And when I ask for their energy, <laughs> Cobra, Raccoon, Octopus, Wolf in Reverse. And let me tell you what I'm channeling from this. And I keep getting this little itch on the tip of my nose, which normally means there's a channel coming through. Like sometimes it happens. I'll get it either in the back of my head or like a little tinkle right here at the top of my nose or back, uh, back of my head or the top of my nose, like right here. Um, so I know that's a spirit talking to me. It's like that's how they get my, I get little sensations through my body. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Okay, anyways. Um, Cobra in Reverse. These people are... Their energy right now, they're still venomous to each other. They're ready to attack each other. They, it's like they are very, very, I'm very paranoid of each other. Like anybody comes, it's like they feel the need, like if anybody comes near too close to them, like, pew, pew, like they have to like strike and attack and they're very venomous to each other. These people are still very poisonous. Uh, raccoon. <laughs> I just heard dumpster divers. These people um, are, I'm not gonna say here and call people out their name. But I'm hearing like they're just still dealing with trash, trash situations and trash people. They dealt you a trash hand and now that's what they are getting, <laughs> the trash hand. Oh, a lot of these people with the octopus feel trapped in their dark ways. They are very, 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 feel very trapped in heavy emotions. These people feel like they're drowning in really deep, dark emotions that they can't, it's like they can't, cut, it's like they can't get above water. They can't get the light, it's like they can't see the light. They can't get back up. It's like they feel like they're drowning and they can't get back up to the light and to get air. They can't get above water. They feel like they're they're drowning in deep, very heavy, dark emotions. Wolf in reverse, I'm hearing they have no guidance. They have no guidance. And it's not that they've lost their guides. Their spirit guides are there. But there is there is divine laws at, at play here, I feel. And I feel like um, there's been some kind of divine law that's come into effect here where it's like, you know, Almost like the feeling of like a, it's weird, like I'm hearing something that's really like military, like a chain of command where their guides, guides are like, no, you have to step aside. They have to, this is a part of their karmic learning. This is now the lesson they've signed up to learn. So it's kind of like, let them stay in the dark until they do the work that they need to do on themselves to heal and evolve so that they can hear their own spiritual gifts, like the ones they were making fun of this person for. So that's what I have for you today. Their lives will never be the same. They are forever changed by you, Pile 4. I'm going to go ahead and take it to Pile 5. See you guys in another reading. I hope you'll feel called to like and subscribe. Hi, Pile 5. If you chose the Amethyst, beautiful Amethyst, Pile 5, this is your reading. Whose life is forever changed by you? Um, okay, let's get into it. Uh, so, all right. Um, I want to say, um, because coming out first, um, uh, pile five, we do have cat. So, if you have a pet, your pet's life is forever changed by you. Um, now let me get into the main part of the reading. Okay. It's a beautiful thing. We have Boogeyman in Reverse and Cat. And um, based off of the energies I'm feeling off of these cards, is it's looking like they're, whose life was forever changed by you? Somebody who at one point was um, like stalking you or spying on you. Um, this feels like, uh, especially next coming out, Lovers and Thief in Reverse. This is somebody who, 
either it's interesting I got something kind of like this in the last reading um, this is somebody who either was spying on you because they were trying to see if you were talking to somebody or what you're doing or they wanted to talk to somebody you were with or they were interested in somebody you were interested in or it's giving the feeling like maybe the spouse or somebody was in a connection and they thought their spouse was talking to you so they started spying on you and it's giving the feeling like almost like they were trying to um, dig dirt on you to see if you are really alone with cats giving the feeling of independence like if you are really alone on your own look into your life find out things about you and also I have to say or it could be possibly with the you know the, the stalker feeling is somebody who was uh, possibly obsessed with you um, uh, if not somebody's spouse then it could be somebody who was had gotten some kind of infatuation or obsession with you and just started watching you and couldn't stop um, big time giving big time stalker vibes and they wanted they were looking into your life because they were um, maybe infatuated with your independence and possibly at some point whichever scenario it was this person was trying to make a decision they might have thought about even stealing from you taking from you robbing you something of that nature um, also coming out here, we have moving, Mercury retrograde, caution, and sexuality. Now, part of the reason why, now the, the, this, this is what's interesting with the sexuality, what I'm getting is that this person or you could possibly be um, bisexual or have a different sexuality preference than this person. And that might be what intrigued this person to start watching you or stalking you or gave them some kind of obsession or this might be some kind of confirmation so you'll know who this is um also with caution and sexuality this is um aside from that this is giving the feeling that, uh, the, that this person might also be somebody who might have um had some kind of risky um sexual endeavors in the past and then it would be somebody who you would want to be cautious with before interacting with this person they might have some kind of you know could have gained some kind of std or something like that but um, if this is, in fact, somebody's, like, say, spouse and they were watching you, um, it's like they wanted you to, they were trying to, it's almost like they were trying to do things to make you want to move away. Maybe, like, they wanted, maybe if they were trying to have you robbed or something so that you would move away so that you would feel caution from, from coming back or coming back around. Um, something of that nature. I know it's kind of weird, a little bit dark, but it's, that's what it's giving the feeling. It's not giving a feeling of a positive vibe here but this person um is forever changed by you and we're gonna get into why um this person didn't put a lot of patience and planning to what they they were doing they it feels like they were met very messy might have left a, um, a trail or like somehow like got caught like whether it was like if they were trying to like hack into your phone they might have done things where I, it's just giving the feeling like they got caught by somebody or something and it's um yeah with triumph in reverse they they were not it's like they, it's almost like the feeling they were looking into your life because they were trying to dig dirt or find out something bad about you. And I feel the reason why you they were forever changed by you is they couldn't find anything bad about you, Pile Vibe. It's giving like they weren't triumphant in whatever their endeavors were. That when looking in on you, all they saw was the light, your awareness. It's like they it feels to me like there's somebody who's very. Um, this was happening the last pile too. I keep getting this tingling feeling on the tip of my nose. And this happens a lot when I'm channeling. I get like this little sensation um, here or like here on the back of my head. So I know I'm onto something here. I'm, I'm very right. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's like they were looking for something wrong, but everything you did was like checked out. Everything you did was out in the light. Um, it's, I feel almost like they learned something from you. Like it's like they're, it's like giving the feeling like they're like, there's no way this person is that good. There, I'll, I'll find something. I'll look into them and I'll find something. And when they maybe like tried to, maybe they even tried to do a background check or something on you and they couldn't find anything, it's like, oh no, there's no way. So it's almost even feeling like they overstepped a big boundary here and was looking in on your life where they really had no place doing that. They might have even been driving by your house, trying to take pictures, catch you doing something wrong. Um, and they couldn't. And in doing so, it feels to me like they might have even spent some of their own money or invested into doing this and it cost them greatly because they came out with no avail um attachment reverse temple path reverse community and envy this person told lies about you this person tried to say you were envious of them this person tried to make themselves look good in the community and they like didn't it's like they tried to say it's it's almost like the this is giving the feeling like this person was out in the community accusing you of doing that to them 
saying bad things about you, but it was really them who was doing it. So it's kind of like they were trying to say, oh, this person's obsessed with me. They want my girl. They want my man. They won't leave me alone. I, I saw them driving by my house. Da 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 da. Or, or it could even be the other way around, like, this person's obsessed with me. They think my man, they think their man wants me. Or they think their girl wants me. So they are driving by my house, da da da. But it's, you know what I mean? It's really the other way around. They're the ones who are driving by your house. They're the ones who was insecure or felt very intimidated or threatened by your presence. So they were, it's like they were, but they were trying to make themselves look good in the community. But really it's like, they're the ones who are off the beaten path. This is a person, whoever it was this was about, they had a very unhealthy attachment to this person. It wasn't a pure connection anyways, whether this was your partner or their partner or however this plays out. Um, okay, coming out next. Yeah, oh, big time. This person ended up becoming very obsessed with you. Um, it feel, it's the feeling like the more they looked into your life and the more they couldn't find anything wrong or really try to find, it's like they just, it's like they felt like they just knew they were gonna catch you doing something. They were going to catch, maybe, I don't know if they thought they were going to catch somebody, all kinds of different, maybe if they were trying to like, you know, spread through the community, like, oh, you're with this one, that one, this one, that one, that you get around. They're watching your house and no cars are pulling up in the middle of the night, no sneaky links, no nothing. Like they couldn't get anything. And it became to a point where it feels like this person became very obsessed with this devil's card and this lover's card coming out right here, this person became very obsessed with you uh, to an unhealthy manner. This person became very much um, over infatuated. It became unhealthy. I think this person needs help. I think this person had to go get help. I think this person then became very much um, though almost inspired or learned because of how loving you are with this queen of cups coming out in the upright. It's like they real. it's like, I think they became a little bit, I'm hearing, ooh, sick to their stomach. Like, there's no way anybody's this good. Like, how is this, this person's not that nice to anybody. There's no way they're just friends with that person. They have to be fucking around. This person has to be fucking around with that person or this person or, I know they're screwing around with this person's man. Nobody's just friends or it's something of that nature. But they were, there's something very nice and loving and nurturing about you. And um, it, be, it made them become very, and it may, it's almost giving the feeling if this person did have a, if this was because this person did have a spouse, this person felt very obsessed and threatened that their spouse would see the good in you. And they had to find dirt. Like they had to find dirt. They wanted to find something bad on you. And they couldn't. And, it, and I feel this really truly changed their life. I feel that, um, it's, oh God, with the keys on, this is the Three of Cups, which is telling me this person might have even pretended to be a friend to you at some point, maybe even to try to find things out about you, or maybe even try to get in good with friends of yours, or try to find out, like to like to become friends with people who are friends with you, to ask them to get information on you, um, or, or to try to get somebody to become friends with Ooh, yeah, that's what it is. They might have even got like put somebody up to pretending to be your friend so they can get in your house to see what was going on in your house or to find out more information that you keep privately. It's like this person was very invested in getting it all the digging up something on you, getting finding out all the things in your private life. Maybe, ooh, gross, I hope not. Like maybe even try to put some kind of like a listening device or a tracking device on your car so they could see like, oh, I know, I know they're talking to so-and-so and I'll see. So they're putting it like a freaking GPS on your car or something so they could see if you go near their house or I know like uh, getting somebody to go to your house and when you leave, put this on because I'm going to catch them coming by my house but then you never did. It's something really sick where this person, it's like they were so, they were working with some kind of insecurity or infatuation that became very unhealthy and obsessive to the point where they really overstepped some boundaries to the point where it was probably not even legal. Um, I feel this person probably definitely spent money on doing a background check or hiring maybe even a private investigator. There's something really this person took it to an extreme. And I know this is a very specific pile, so this might not be for everybody, or at least to the, you know, way I'm saying it, it, it might not be. I'm also seeing this person became very stuck in their head when they were unable to find anything. This person felt very small for what they did. 
when they were not able to find anything, they almost felt like you were better than them because I feel like they realized they do more than you do. They were doing everything they accused you of and it was becoming very apparent. This person um, felt the need to try to run you off almost. This person felt the need to, yeah, with this king of swords, this person felt like they were, they were smart enough to run you off or find something and didn't. So how this person's life was changed by you? Well, um, in the in this nine of, nine of wands, um, it feels to me like this person got caught doing what they're doing and had to answer to somebody who became very upset with them. Um, that person, I feel, somebody called them out like, how could you do this? How? Wh why would you do this? What's wrong with you? And that person became very aware that they had issues, that they needed to get help. For some of you, this person, if they were trying to... Um, Somebody might have stopped giving to them. This person felt very, very unlovable. This person, I think, started to feel like they, um, who I, it's almost giving the feeling like if they had a partner who caught them, you know, spying on you, that person stopped giving to them, like, what's wrong with you? Like, how could you do this? Or, um, if this is like somebody who you were a friend with, like, you stopped giving to them. Um, I feel this person. saw that you were really only working on things that were good for yourself. This person um, now feels stuck because they feel like they have more karma coming towards them and they don't know what to do with their life. This person, I feel perhaps if they got caught or in any kind of legal trouble, this person had to cut out certain addictions or things that they were doing obsessively. They, it's like this person, it's, with this devil in reverse and this um, ace of swords, is this person's life was forever changed because of whatever they were involved with doing and whatever they are doing, they were forced to make serious changes in their life in order to get better, in order to get help. It feels like this person was either caught or this person might have even for, been forced into some kind of therapy to go seek help for the, their, it's like they became, it's almost a feeling like, you know, if, if, this person realized they became mentally unstable on um, this or, 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 you know, they felt very mentally unstable and was forced to, if, especially if this person was indulging at any given time on any kind of substances, um, alcohol, drugs, weed, pills, they were forced to give it up because it wasn't helping their mental state. They had become very unhealthy, unhealthy mentally is what it feels like. Um, this person feels like they owe you something, but they don't feel like they're strong enough to come to come towards you and admit what they were doing. But they feel like they owe, like they feel like they um almost like they owe you compensation. They feel like they know they owe you at least an apology or even money. I don't know what all the feeling is like. This person really became obsessed with you. Someone feels like they became overly, unhealthily obsessed with you and they feel like they owe you an apology. They feel like they've only seen good things from you. They feel like they realize you're only a nice and good person and that whatever they were felt threatened by of you, they realize it was not that. This person realizes that you're a good person. I think you've actually inspired this person. Like they realize how wrong they, this person realizes they underestimated you and misjudged you greatly and now they are forever changed because now they have had been forced to take a look at themselves when I asked what's going on with it and if this was um, some kind of a connection that they were in that's why they were harassing you is um, now it feels like mm, somebody's not moving forward with them anymore Somebody's become delighted to what they were doing. Somebody's looking in another direction. Um, their secrets have been exposed. This person, um, when I asked for their energies, they have the, we have the cheetah in reverse, camel upright, and the frog upright. Is that nothing's moving forward in this person's life until they come clean for the water they're holding. So. Um, it feels to me like they've been got caught, but they haven't admitted to everything they did. They, so it's, I almost feel like there's there's some stuff that they've tried to deny, but nothing's moving forward in their life until they come clean for what they did, for what all they were doing. It's like if they have a partner or a spouse or even an authority who's asking them, like if, if this was something that got so serious where it became like an investigation or something and they're denying it, it's like nothing's moving. Spirit is seeing to it that nothing moves forward in their life until they come clean. 
And when I asked about you, Beaver, you've sensed this or you're aware of this, maybe not to the full extent of what this person was doing and you've become more guarded because um, you're not willing to be um, somebody who's hunted or preyed on or victimized. You've gone through a complete transformation in your life and you're, it feels to me like you're, um, maybe if this, it feels to me like this person probably was having people pretend to or sending people to like be, or even people who were your friends to try to get information or find out things or was questioning people who know you. And it feels to me like you're more guarded, like you're not as quick and easy to be so kind and offer information to people possibly is what the energies is kind of feeling like here. But overall, it feels like you're a very aware, nice, good spiritual person. You're very enlightened, you do things the right way. You're somebody who's like a light worker. You do things in the light. And I feel like this person was, your light triggered their demons. Your light triggered some kind of insecurity in this person where they really weren't, wasn't sure what it was, but they just were, sh it's like they felt threatened by you and it became like infatuation or obses obsession to the point where they were trying to stalk you. Like, nobody's that good. I'm gonna find something out, watch, to pr try to prove their point and was not able to find anything. And now because of that, this person is forever changed because of you. Because they never met somebody or come across somebody who's like, they couldn't find anything out on like they it's, it feels to me like they were just so sure that you are somebody bad or they could find something out about you and they weren't able to and so um it's like your light forever changed this person i feel this person wants to apologize but doesn't would never know how to come to you and admit everything they re they did but i think they do regret it now greatly so that's what i have for you today pile five i hope you'll feel called to like and subscribe i'll see you guys in another reading